Hi everyone, I'm here with um, how I got into couponing. So I actually didn't get into couponing. My mother did. Uh, my lovely mother. She, I'm sure out of necessity, had to get um, more food for her money's worth. And um, as you can see, I've been putting the stores that I think most likely she would shop out. But I know her number one favorite store was Hughes Market. And this was in the mid to in the mid 80s, I would say. Um, and the reason why Hughes Market was um, probably her number one store was because it took it. It well, you could double your coupon. So if your coupon was worth one dollar, it got it just became a two dollar coupon. Um, but on top of that. Hughes Market would take competitors' coupons. So, like, if you had a coupon from Lucky's or Albertsons or whatever other store, they would take it and double it, too. So, if you think that you go to Rite Aid and you spent an hour was a lot, no, honey, no. We'd spend minimum two hours and up to almost four hours. Yes, including checkout. And um, it was the three of us. So there's three of us. I have two siblings and myself. And my mom would give us a coupon. And she would be like, okay, go to this aisle and find this product. And if you find it, get it and tell me the price. And so we'd go, and of course, you know, we wanted the coupon that had the cereal we wanted or the juice or the snack or whatever it was that we wanted. Nonetheless, we didn't care. We would still do whatever my mom told us to do, but that's what we did. And um, she would save a lot, a lot of money. I, I know the, the customers that were behind her, um were just annoyed by her but then when they saw how much money she saved um they would be like odd like they wanted to see what was happening you know so um it was it was my mother <laughs> um so much my feet would hurt and just I mean you really can't sit down you're you're in the store walking you know we're, we're not that little you know we weren't like five or six we were more like Set at least I was like seven or eight. Um, my sister was older, and then my brother was a little bit younger. So it's not like we fit in the cart with the groceries to like rest our feet. Um, so yeah, we were we were tired, and and I told myself I will not coupon when I'm older. I will make enough money, or I'll do what I have to do so that I don't have to coupon. Boy, don't ever say you're not going to do something unless you really, really work hard at, you know, achieving that goal because you will eat your words. But you know what? Um, now it's different. You know, there is no double coupon. Some of these coupons, their expiration dates are like ridiculously short. Like you barely have two weeks, if any. Uh she had coupons that had no expiration dates. I don't know if she still has any. I doubt it. I think she used them all. But, um, yeah, and now there's apps and rebates and load to card and, you know, uh, reward systems and uh, online. I mean, there was none of that. It was like literally... We would sit down, cut coupons. She had an envelope system. And we would just sort, cut and sort, cut and sort. And then when we got to this grocery store, it was, is this good? This is the price? No, take it back. Yes, keep it. Now look for this one. And, you know, that was our life. And... We, we saved a lot of money. We, we got snacks that we liked. And then we got stuff that we didn't like. But we were blessed.
I hope you enjoyed this and um, just keep pushing through it. You can do it.